Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bow video. Today I thought to make video where I cook another carnivore dish which is hearts and kidneys as a traditional English recipe. And then I realized I did not create knife video. Today in this particular video I would like to review my knife set. I'll put links down below where I got my knife set and what you should or may buy with it. Um, please visit that uh, video description for more information. However, why do I need to create a video about uh, knives? Those knives are nothing special. That's what forums would say. You know, you would jump on the forums and say, what do you think or product review on this particular set? And you hear, um, comments like it's not expensive steel or cheap steel uh, the brand is cheap the knives are not good and if you look at the comments you may come to conclusion that this set is not good however there's a truth for everything think about your car your windscreen made of glass different from your uh, side window if object would hit your windscreen, it designed not to shudder and basically will buckle and stay together. The side window, if something would hit it, it's supposed to shudder and not to cut you. It will shut in small pieces. Same with knives. You got very expensive, uh, what they call cheap grade knives, knives and they made of special steel, which is, yes, very strong, very, uh, has amazing properties but it's brittle. If you're not a person that cooks every day, if you don't know how to handle knives, you most likely damage those expensive knives. But then you've got the cheap knives, which made of very poor steel, very poor uh, stainless steel capability, and that's what people call cheap knives. But there is something in the middle that has all the properties that amateur cook like myself, and maybe many of my uh, viewers, uh, would consider themselves the set that would do everything that you need to do in the kitchen yet you wouldn't be afraid to damage your knife <clears throat> let's talk about this set um, the knife set called, called Baccarat uh, Damashira I'm not sure how to pronounce it with my accent is you know, even harder but what it has, it has 8 knives in the set it has a uh, stand and magnetic chopping board behind which is quite a um, convenient thing and first three knives general purpose knives meat knives and then you got a uh, bread knife and general purpose three small knives um, basically everything that you need in the kitchen why people think that those knives are not good it made uh, out of steel which called 420 j2 if you look in the, in the internet what that means, that means the properties of those knives are stainless steel, yet it's not that hard steel. What that means, that means you will need to sharpen them, or at least once a month in my case, right? But because those are softer knives, they won't chip, they won't shatter, and they, if you look after them, they will last you a long time. In my humble opinion, this is the set if you buy and look after it, should last your lifetime in amateur kitchen. And then look, most of us would probably start with something that you buy in a supermarket, block of knives, something like that, and then we realize those knives are mm, not so good. And we decide to for better knives. And this is where I jump in the forum and so many opinions on what's good, what's bad. I'll tell you what, I paid for this set, uh, I think 200 something dollars. And we've got eight knives here. They are good quality knives and they will serve a long time. And if you strive for perfection, if you know how to use your knives, for $250, you probably will end up buying one knife that does one function. So what I'm trying to say, if you're not so fussy about your knives, if you would like good quality, practical application and affordable price range I suggest getting something like that again I put link down below where I got mine and get sharpener and look after your knives 
there's nothing better than that for average kitchen around the world. That's my opinion. You know, next video will be about cooking the dish and I'll be using my knife so you can judge how it works and what it is. But uh, this is my review of if you're not really knife snob, you appreciate what people call average or mediocre knife. It is not. It is not for sure and that's amazing knife for everyday kitchen. That's my opinion. Thank you so much for tuning up for my review. Until next time, Greg from Brisbane, Australia.